New month, new gifts. There you go. It is the, it is the holiday season, right? All right, so Roland mulliganing to six. Here's Urza's Saga to start the game for Sam, who's on the play. Mox Diamond. Following up. Discarding. Grove of the Burn Willows. And passing the turn. Are we going to see you at Eternal Weekend doing a backpack stream? I will not be doing a backpack stream to be determined what I do or don't do regarding Eternal Weekend. But it's not likely I'm going to attend. I'll just say that. Here's a basic island for Roland to start. Basic island pretty good against Wasteland that we see in Sam's hand. I think we see two of them actually. Saga ticks up to two. Here's a Wasteland, which can't hit the island. Otherwise, Sam would likely fire it off. And passing. Yes, Anurag is doing a backpack stream. It did a GoFundMe and reached a goal. Awesome. Here's a brainstorm for Roland. And thank you, everybody, that contributed to Anurag's GoFundMe. I think, you know, I've been talking about this on this channel for so long. I, I think the community, um, what's, what's the shortest way to say this? The community is slowly coming to terms with the fact that if we want coverage at these events, if we want a live stream to watch, if we want matches recorded, we need to make that happen. We need to contribute and make sure people can make it out there to, to do the work. And uh, well done by the legacy community to uh, provide Anurag the funds that they need to, to get that live stream going. Okay, so Waste Wasteland hit Saga here, and a construct was created in response. There's a construct for Sam. Here's there's a saga, number two. So Roland will uh, have to either waste that one now or face even more constructs down the road. Needle on Scalding Tarn, but Roland pointing out it's still on the stack. Let's see. <laughs> Don't place your needles on the table and then say what they're naming. Force pitching Merktide. Count on the Pithy Needle. Attacking for two. Sam gesturing at Wasteland, maybe hinting that Wasteland would not have been named. Scalding Tarn played there for Roland. If that needle had resolved, it would be shut off. Yeah, maybe, maybe Sam playing some mind games here, baiting the force. Who knows? I don't know. Kind of next level, if so. Roland's crack scalding tarn.
Yeah, trading trading a uh, needle for a Merktad and a Horse of Will, I think, I think that's a good trade. Yeah, and, and crop rotation is now much more likely to resolve. Basic mountain for Roland. Interesting. What do you think about that, everybody? Here's Dragon's Rage Channeler. Roland with basic mountain. Interesting. All right, crop rotation hitting the stack here. Sacrificing Wasteland. Force pitching days on the Wasteland, uh, on the crop rotation. Basic Mountain and a Mystic Sanctuary days deck. Yeah. Um, people in the Twitch chat are skeptical. We'll see what the YouTube commenters think. But maybe Roland's deck list, deck list is... Uh, has some surprises. We'll we'll see. I don't know. I didn't play against Roland at this event. I posted in the uh, 90s MTG Discord how my event went. I was here. I uh, was playing four color control and went 0-2-1 and, and dropped. After a few weeks of having a winning record at the, at the weeklies, I'll, I'll I'll take a bad night. It's fun. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the reasoning behind the basic mountain. Um, we did not collect deck lists at this event. But uh, maybe some adjustments to the Delver build for Roland. We'll see how it works out here in the lands matchup. And activating Saga on end step. So far, the basic mountain is looking genius. The wastelands have been uh, useless. Okay, there's a construct. All right, maybe a lightning bolt here on the old one. All right, lightning bolt removes the construct, surveil, puts a daze into the graveyard. Um, All right, Saga getting activated. Stifling the creation of the construct, Surveil. So we're 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 seeing a different Delver build than uh, than we're used to. Stifle has not been a stock Delver main deck card for a while now, but Roland firing off a Stifle there to stop the uh, construct from being created, and now the uh, search trigger is being resolved, even though a Maze of It was played. Maybe being a little lenient on this on the search trigger getting missed, I guess. It'll be Shadow Spear. Yeah. I haven't seen Stifle in a while. It's been a little while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sam pointing out I haven't seen Stifle in a while. Neither have I. With uh, White Plume Adventure, a seasoned engineer, and Capes of Chaos Adventure all getting a lot of play in Legacy right now, Stifle is, uh, is on some people's minds for sure. Here's Thespian Stage. If you're watching live, this event was two days ago. That we're watching right now. If you're watching on YouTube, it was it was a long time ago, probably. Here's Roland. Uh, here's a Construct attacking Roland with a Shadow Spear and passing the turn. All right, Roland scoops it up. Sam gets games game one. Okay. 
All right, one card going on the bottom for Roland. Blue to Delta getting cracked. Queen us with some speculation that Roland has a couple of true name nemesis in the sideboard. We don't know, but we'll see. Card is making a comeback right now, and I bet Roland is trying it out. I mean, I would not be surprised. Roland likes to experiment. Mox Diamond is good. Grove of the Burnwell is on the board. Dark Depths discarded. We saw this lands deck on stream earlier today, and uh, Grow for the Worm Willows, of course, tells us that Punishing Fire is likely in the deck, and I think we see it in hand here for Sam. Delver Trigger will go on the stack. Let's see how long this Delver lives. Brainstorm on Upkeep. I think now is a good time, in case Roland draws a daze. Punishing Fire, targeting Delver. TNN surely has to be good against Initiative and various other decks. I'm happy to see it coming back, says Wendy. Yes, and uh, interesting considering everybody is in a... Uh, well, not everybody. But some people are in a uh, fit about multiplayer cards in the format. True Name Nemesis being one of the earliest ones to make an impact. Andy, <clears throat> Andy, thanks for the resub. 16 months at Tier 1 for Andy. What's up, Andy? Andy with some beautiful badges in the chat. All right, this brainstorm still resolving here. Drill Mark, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Okay, forget about draw step there for a moment, it seems like. Playing a Volcanic. Looks like it's a ponder shuffle. Surgical, a good way to deal with punishing fire. There's the dark depths in the graveyard as well. We're considering. Going to untap now is Sam. Plays a Grove of the Burn Willows. At the end of your turn, says how much Mono White Initiative will be at Eternal Weekend. I bet a ton. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, but I do know if it ends up being 20% of the metagame and 52% win percentage or higher, we will be having a meltdown on Twitter. Right, everybody? We, we will... Melt the F down. It'll be crazy. Like a meltdown we've never seen before. Harry Houdini with a question. Ever consider doing an evening stream? So actually for most of the existence of this channel, we have done evening streams. It's just within the last year, I switched over to a daytime because it was better for my schedule. Daytime here, Eastern time. I'm in, I'm in New York. Um, this just works better for me. Pyroblast on Ponder. After the Wasteland takes out Roland's Volcanic Island and no follow-up land for Roland. Life from the Loam. Roland's probably thrilled about that. Grove of the Burn Willows. Dark Depths. Wasteland.
Yeah, Gizlo, what a great point. The EU audience appreciate the afternoon streams. I think they do. And, uh, yeah. This time just works better for me. Uh, ponder here for Rollins. This one will resolve. Roland needs more than a land, really. Loam is online. There's a wasteland in play. Grove of the Burn Willows is happening. It's all happening here for Sam. End step endurance. This will prevent further Merc Tides. Well, future Merc Tides. If it resolves. If this resolves, there's likely no chance Roland will be able to get a Merc Tide onto the table in this game. Based on the board we see right now, there's a Dark Depths in hand for Sam. I don't know about a Thespian stage. I don't think so. We're going to untap now back on Sam's side. Chooses to draw, no dredge. I think Sam has enough tools as far as lands. There's Dark Depths. And attacking for three. Rolling goes down to 18. Sacrificing a fetch here. Is Roland getting that basic mountain once again? Sam has a wasteland, so a wasteland on Roland's side is not that exciting. Expressive iteration, that resolves. Don't think Sam cares about that right now. Roland trying to figure out what to do with this top three. Like a Delver was placed into exile. End step removing a counter from Dark Depths and dredging this time. Putting into the graveyard Sheltered Thicket, a Pithing Needle. That Pithing Needle has been milled a bunch already today. And crop rotation. Attacking for three. Playing Grove of the Burn Willows. Life for Nalom, targeting Sheltered Thicket. That's it. Sheltered Thicket will then be able to protect Loam in the graveyard from Surgical, which is nice. You can cycle in response to dredge. Punishing fire still in hand for Sam. Rolling not even close to delirium. There's two types right now. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Just get punishing fired as of right now. Looks like Rolling passed the turn. Punishing fire. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a cycle sheltered thicket on end step. 
So let's see if uh, dredge happens here. Nope. Regular draw. Life in the Rome still st stuck in the graveyard. Tabernacle drawn for Sam. Plays another wasteland. <laughs> Shadow Spear comes down. That's pretty good. Roland struggling here. This is uh, a game with the advantage bar swung way over to the left, I would say. Attacking for four with lifelink. Rolling down to ten. Wendy predicting maybe a, a, a manual ma Marrow Edge coming. Yeah, I mean, Marrow Edge is down to six. Six ice counters. Could happen. This endurance is going to be hard to beat, though. Roland's life total is already low. Can't even... Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know what Roland does here. Can't unholy heat. Can submerge it, but is that really exciting? I don't know. Here's Delver, punishing fire. Can just hit that. Put a type into the yard. Yeah, lands is generally a tough matchup for Delver, and and we're witnessing here why. Just all the tools in the deck to. Uh, make a deck like Delver pretty miserable. Punishing Fire hits the Delver as expected. Roland got to gain a life, but I don't think Sam cares about that at all. And we'll see if Dredge happens here. Nope, just a natural draw. Tabernacle as the next play could just be uh, too much to handle. Attacking for four. I tell you what, if Sa if Sam slams a ghost quarter here, uh, Roland might scoop it up. That that might be a game winning card at this point. Adam Combat, thanks for the resub with Prime, and says, "How's it going, everyone? It's going well, Adam Combat, especially since you just made Jeff Bezos pay for a Twitch sub to my channel. Thank you." There is a submerge. Okay, so endurance will go on top of the library. Still not very exciting. <laughs> Meltdown X is one. So Mox Diamond and Child Spear get blown up. It's something. Adam Combat says, I'm going to be trying out your four color control list my next Legacy Knight Chris. Yes, do it. Deck's good. And if anybody watching is interested in my deck list, it is posted in our Discord server. Yeah. Links are all over the place for that. All right, here's the Endurance we knew about. It's getting cast immediately in order to uh, prevent a possible Merc Tide on Roland's next turn. Oh, that, that was a redundant Endurance. So there was another one, actually. That wasn't the one that was on top of the library. My mistake. Oh, right. We hadn't drawn that. We didn't draw that one yet. Yeah, it was on top of the library. My mistake. All right, Roland scoops it up. Didn't really have much of a chance there. A little bit of a fist bump happening, and that's game. That is game.